All right, we're going to do a cost analysis. The John Boat was $16.95 before tax. That's the 1436 Grizzly, and that was a 2025 model that I got. This is the 2024 on the website. There you see the breakdown with the features of the John Boat. You can also see where I added the trailer. That was $11.95 before tax. Total before tax was $29.65. Then when we added the tag and title and everything, it came to around thirty-four seventy. All right, there's the sheathing I use. It's basically twenty-three thirty seconds plywood, exterior grade, double encapsulate it with fiberglass, and you'll never have a problem. The two by four by eights, they are ground contact pressure treated, and I use those to frame the front deck and around the amplifier. I use two of those for a total of a little under eleven bucks. Here you see the Henry glue. I got a gallon, you won't need a gallon, you'll need a quart, maybe a quart and a half, but I always buy a gallon because you never want to run short. It was 26 bucks. Use a 1 16th notched trowel to put that down. Here is the spray glue I use, and this is where the carpet meets at the corners and where it folds around the back of the boards and the decks. And uh, this just makes doing small stuff easy. I got three cans, so right around 40 bucks. There is the carpet. It comes in an 8 foot roll, 6 foot long, or 12 foot where you can get it cut off the roll. 63 cents a square foot. I used about a total of 96 square feet, so it was right around 60 bucks. Now here is the outboard motor receipt, and this was with tax. It was 33.70.50 that came with controls, and it came with a fuel tank. You still need to buy shift cables and throttle cables, which we will see here in a bit. These are Power Queens. They are 100 amp hour batteries. These are not the starting battery, but they can be. So I already had a 24 series to do the starting battery. There are some hitch parts. There's the locks for the receiver. And then below that you see the receiver adapter to go from the small to the two inch. And then there is the two inch ball already set up. Now there is the Humminbird Helix 5 that I had on my canoe that I built earlier this year. There's a series on that as well. Highly recommended. Very highly recommended. Really good fish finder. Um, don't build a boat like this and not put a fish finder or depth finder on it. That's a must. Just some random electrical parts. I had ordered these separately. Those are the solder connectors where you heat them with the heat gun or hit them with a small torch. And it solders the wires inside. They are heat shrink. And there's the bus bars. Here's the extra fuel tank with the fitting that you have to buy along with it and put in with marine Teflon tape. That's a must. That was $72. Now here's a box of grommets I bought. Of course I didn't use them all, but um, these are anywhere that I had wires going through aluminum. I put a grommet in there and below that you'll see the seat that goes on the front of the console for the passenger to ride on. It was about 11 bucks and 36 bucks for the seat. And there is the adapter cable to go from the Bluetooth to the amplifier. And below that you see the Bluetooth adapter, the speakers, and some extra plugs. Um, that order was a total of $367.87. And that is the total for the stereo system with this amplifier that goes on that price. So that's a 1000 watt SCAR amplifier. It's four channels. So if you want to add two speakers or if you want to put a uh, subwoofer mono on the back channels you can do that there's the swivel seats and the first gallon of resin for encapsulating the decks and there's an overlap of that and then you see the uh, seat with the swivel back which I removed that's uh, $383 but I took the back off of that seat because it just I'm a big guy and it really kind of pushed me off the seat that was a gift from someone too so I didn't have to pay for that but you will And here we're going to do just some hardware and some random things. The screws that I used to do all of the stainless steel to wood with the hinges that I bought below that. There I bought four pack of them. And there is the fiberglass cloth that I used to wrap the console. And I used probably a third of the fiberglass cloth to wrap the console. And there is the power trim and steering fluid. I use Quicksilver. It's all I use. Don't use anything else. That's the good one there. And there are the two swivels that those bicycle seats go on, of which I used one so far. I may add one to the back, but 
that is the two pack that I bought just some random things for fiberglass the uh, little roller for when I did the cloth over the console and then the squeegees are really good for when you're encapsulating you don't waste a bunch of paint brushes and then I got a gallon of resin to double that up on the encapsulation because I just wanted those decks to be nice and waterproofed. There's the Vivor hydraulic steering and that is for 90 horsepower outboard which I have 20 so it's plenty. Came with everything you needed but the fluid. And then there's one of the rolls of wire which is a 14-2. And here's some more stuff. The steering wheel that I picked out which was a very small 11 inch steering wheel but it's perfect for that boat. Um, there is the anchor line, has the little stainless fitting on the end already. The navigation light, the two switch panels, and the two rod holders that I added behind the driver's seat. You see I got a whole roll of wire loom and I use that everywhere I ran wires under the decks you have to use wire loom. You don't want those wires rubbing on the metal. Use those little fuse connectors and I showed you guys how to do that in a video. There's some lines, there's a battery switch and a battery box. And there's the second battery box I bought because I realized the one I had was kind of beat up and I wanted new ones in there. And there are the shift and control cables that I bought. Buying them from the motor company online outboards, they were, were about twice the price. So I just got them on Amazon. And then I used the 12-2, uh, I guess you call it marine wire, but just heavy duty red and black wire. So there's the Kurt trailer hitch. It goes specifically for an HHR. I had to use that. That and the plug below, if you guys have ever done that, you know that that plugs into the tail lights and sort of adapts it without having to tape and do a bunch of crimp and make a big mess out of your wiring. It just plugs right in, super easy. All right, so here you have it. Total cost $10,201.50, and that is with the trolling motor as well. And I would say if you went to a dealer and got a boat like this already put together with everything it has on it, You'd be looking at fourteen to sixteen thousand dollars. So there is the completed boat, everything on it with the trolling motor. And there is my buddy Winston when he was about nine weeks old, right after a hurricane, and we're taking a little ride down the river for him to introduce himself to the boat. So like, share, and subscribe to DC Florida Sport, you guys. We appreciate you watching. Check that playlist out. There's over forty videos on there. Enjoy.